Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bob's Pistols and Pay Dirt. Today we're going to talk about my very first pistol I ever got on planet Earth. She's a beautiful little pistol, it's called a Ruger Bearcat. I was a pretty young gentleman whenever I got this pistol, I always loved shooting growing up. And I uh, just want to do a little quick tabletop review of this and then we're going to head to the range and go shoot it. So yeah, the Ruger Bearcat. Um, Made by Storm Ruger. Uh, Ruger. Ruger is a company started up about 1949, somewhere in there. Uh, the Bearcat model came out in 1958. And the first issue, or the first type, went from 1958 to 1971. In 1971, the second issue came out. They made a few little changes and modifications. And uh, it went from 1971 to 1975. That was the second issue. They didn't make them for a while, and uh, they started them back up in 1993, and they still make them today. So you can go buy basically this pistol today. One thing that's important about uh, Ruger and the company, um, there were some issues back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, etc., where um, uh, people were making claims that you know they, their, their gun was dropped and the hammer hit, and the gun fired and all that kind of stuff and shot myself in the leg in the truck or whatever. There's all these these different claims and we're a litigious society so in a response to um, I believe it was some type of a revolver that Ruger had that the gentleman or person dropped in his pickup truck back in the 60s or 70s uh, Ruger came up with a, a, a new uh, patent that was called a transfer safety bar system and kind of what that looks like is this this was made obviously prior to that the uh, the uh, patented transfer safety bar system actually uh, was done in 1974 this gun was made before that you'll open it up and look this hammer is flat and will hit directly against the hammer or against the the firing pin mechanism excuse me so with the transfer bar system Basically, in the Rugers, and I'll grab one here in a bit and show you, but there's a little sliding bar underneath. And as long as you pull the trigger and hold the trigger down, the hammer will go forward, hit the bar, the bar hits the pin, and that's the way the weapon fires. And if you pull the trigger and take your finger off the trigger, the bar then slides back down and the gun does not go off. But that's the transfer bar system. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll just throw a picture of one up here for you to take a look at. Okay, yep, beautiful little pistol, um, a lot of fun to shoot, not my most accurate, I'll put it this way, I don't shoot this gun as accurately as I should, uh, I've got rather large hands, as you can see, that's that's uh it's a small pistol so but it is a ton of fun to shoot for me it has a lot of sentimental value and uh, on these old rugers you take it back to half cock open the gate you can turn the sit the cylinder these rugers it only goes one way it will not go backwards it's six rounds in the cylinder close it back up pull it pull it back let, let the hammer down this type of pistol should be handled like the old Colt single action revolver since there is no real safety mechanism. Um, basically what that is is, uh, let me close this back down. What that is is you load one, skip one, and load the other four. Two, three, four. Pull it back, drop it down, and this should be setting, now the firing pin should be setting on that empty chamber. So you only have five actual bullets inside the cylinder, and right now it is drop safe because there is nothing inside the actual chamber uh, that's uh, in the direction of the barrel. So anyway, just want to let you see the uh, little Ruger Bearcat. Ton of fun. I'm sure I'm glad I kept this one, my first pistol I ever had in my entire life. And as you can see, it's got a lot of wear marks on it, holster wear and stuff. On the farm, I rode ho horses a lot, etc., and uh, usually had this in a little leather holster and on my side, and 
take it out. It's kind of a kit gun, you know. It's uh, it's pretty light, pretty handy, pretty small, easy to carry around. And um, kind of when I was a kid, I actually trained a horse to where I could hunt off of the horse, and uh, I could fire twenty twos and stuff like that. And my my little horse wouldn't wouldn't budge at all. Didn't bother him at all. So it's pretty pretty handy to have. All right. Let's head down to the range, go have some fun. Here we go. Here we are down at the range. We're going to be taking a little time and shooting this Ruger Bearcat. This was my very first pistol I ever owned in my life. I think I got it in uh, around 1970 or so. This is the uh, holster and belt that I got with it. I thought I was a real cowboy back then. I was going to put it on for the video, but. Uh, I think this is a 28 inch waist on that setting and uh, yeah I don't have a 28 inch waist anymore. So we're just going to be shooting a little bit, thinking with some different types of ammo. I got some 22 Quiet, those are really fun to shoot. I got some uh, standard velocity Agula, we got some little shorts we're going to put through it. And I got some standard velocity CCI, so and a little bit of candy here on the table. So anyway, let me get things set up and let's go to shooting. Before we actually do a lot of shooting, I just want you to see how beautiful it is up here. The beautiful skies. It's indeed a beautiful day in North Texas. Gorgeous skies today. Another beautiful day in North Texas. We're going to be shooting first off. I loaded the cylinder with some uh, 22 Quiet, so I'm not going to be running my ear protection right now. Probably, probably will later. It has been a few decades since I've shot this pistol. It's been a long time. What I do remember about it is I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn if I was standing inside the barn. She's a beautiful little gun, but it just has more fond memories to me. So anyway, let's see if we can hit something. I'm going to go for this little tin can over here, the one on the post. Right over the top. Man, this thing shoots high. Throw the one on. Let's see where it hits. Woo. Okay. Download this. Pull it back to the second click. The cylinder's free. You just eject your empties. Try not to skip them. This is the old action, so this one here, if you're actually going to carry it, you would load one, skip one, load four, pull the hammer back, load it down, and it would be on an empty cylinder, uh, empty chamber in the cylinder. So, transfer bar, that's what I was trying to think of. Yeah, Ruger developed that uh, later on after this gun was made, so. But we're in the range. We're just going to load them up. Actually, I'll do it cowboy style. Load one, skip one. Two. Down. It's on an empty chamber. Man, I'm gonna 
see if I can actually hit something with this. Guess I'll just go over that big silhouette and see if I can hit, hit it at all. I know where it shoot. Try for a tin can again. Went right through it. Hmm. So one was a misfire. I thought so. up a few more. Now we know where it's shooting. It's kind of fun. I had to find my Ruger head since I'm shooting a Ruger out here today and it's my very first Ruger I ever had in my life. Pretty cool. I'm still going to see if I can make one of those little cans dance for us because they need to. Right through the middle. All right. I'm going to go back to that big yellow one over there. Well, it's patterning not too bad there. I guess if I take my time, know whether the shooting high and left a little bit, I can actually put a pattern together that's uh, maybe two inches. All right. I'm gonna load it up one more time, then we're gonna let y'all go to the house. I'll go to the house. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to load three quiets and two shorts and see if we can even tell the difference. Actually, three shorts. I'm going to grab another one. And one more short. Little bitty bullets. <laughs> I think that was a short. Seemed a little bit louder. Yeah, it's putting them in there now. That was a short. Throw that little bitty target over there, that round one. Hit it high. Yep, still hit it though. All right. The Ruger Bearcat. They still make them, I believe. You can get new ones out there. You can get used ones. A lot of fun to shoot. As you can see, it's fairly small compared to my big old hands there. So I can shoot a standard uh, single action revolver, a full size, quite a bit better than I can shoot this one. But hey, it's still fun to shoot. If you like the video, do me a favor, please hit the subscribe button. We're getting lots of views. Uh, I really need to pick up on the subscription, so it would, it would mean a lot if you guys could uh, hit the sub subscribe button, the notification bell. I'm doing a series on 22s, my favorite caliber ever, and I think it's the world's favorite caliber, so I uh, should be seeing a lot of 22s in the near future. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Happy trails, see you next time.